What I love about Juan Soto's electric and fuego start to the season is that he has traditionally been a slow starter Mm -hmm. in his career. Mm -hmm. And so to appreciate the wonder of Juan Soto, it takes some time typically. It is like, yes, he can be incredible and hit a ball 430 feet to the backside, but Juan Soto is the long game, right? That the, the quality of him in the batter's box will win out over 162 games. But for him to be so supremely good, so immediately, and so decisively in these games is just perfect because yeah. it is exactly why the Yankees <laughs> believed that this was the type of guy you just have to go get. Yeah, whether it's for a year or for 10, it doesn't matter because right now the Yankees are solely focused on flushing the disaster that was 2023. And for how immediately Juan Soto is able to make that happen is is perfect, right? I mean, it is it is exactly what you could have wanted. And it's just great because, again, it's not like we're going to overreact to stats so much, but it is a great reminder if you weren't really watching these games, you know, normally when Aaron Judge has two hits over the course of a four-game series – the Yankees offense is is dead, right? It's toast. It basically has no choice. That's that's what we saw, you know, a lot of a lot of last year. Now, shouts out to Oswaldo Cabrera and, and Volpe for, you know, showing up here as well. But Soto is such a powerful offensive presence that that time, not just that timely hit and that timely walk or that timely homer, it's just every at bat against Juan Soto, every plate appearance is is just a life suck out of the other team almost regardless of the result. And so that is where when you add that in to a lineup that should still, once it gets going, should be pretty balanced and scary. Is, is exa- And then, of course, we end up with all these, you know, a couple of defensive highlights too. I mean, that's just hilarious. That's just objectively, like, that's how you know things are going well for the Yankees. You can't read too much into the beginning of these seasons, like, obviously. But I don't think you could have a more significant first four games for any team against any team from a vibes perspective yes like if the yankees come into the year because especially because the yankees are just so vibe dependent always yes. because of of how they move um and so for this team to come in and start the year going four and oh in houston against yes. the astros is like i mean it's dreamland stuff 